Hi everyone, this is Kate from Wilder Talk and I'm back with a brand new manifestation episode with the foundational key to it all. Today we're gonna talk about what to say to yourself to manifest in one word. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions of people saying, what should I say to manifest that will actually work for me? Well, I've kind of waited a long time to reveal my one secret affirmation that has worked for me time and time again. It's the most powerful statement of certainty. You'll also need to know the second and third quick parts so that it actually will work for you and not against you because word to the wise, you can manifest what you don't want just as easily. And we want you to achieve your deeply personal manifestations. You found this episode by a one in a gazillion chance. And so it's no accident that this is for you today. I'm so happy it arrived to you and I welcome you. I am Kate Wilder. I have been manifesting for 40 years and I am here to share some secrets of what has worked for me and what is not. Today, you need a little help, right? Maybe you feel like giving up trying manifesting because nothing's working out for your hard work using these techniques. Before you invoke the one word powerhouse I'm gonna share, hold on, take heed. You're already doing it every day. You may just have your attention on a little bit different reality than what you really wish you had your attention on. So first you have to know exactly what you want and you have to have that focus and attention on that prize. Otherwise you'll get what you don't. This has happened to you, I'm sure. So many people try to manifest things before taking the time to get clear on their true desires first. So you need to know who you are, what genuinely makes you happy. Without that clarity, you will often end up with things that just aren't right for you. And it does not matter your age, folks, by the way. I don't care if you're 40, you can start over, you can do this anytime you want. Once you have your specific manifestation in mind, either written down ready, in other words, you know what you want, it's time for the magic word and here it is. Claimed. Claimed. Yes. Claimed. 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 This is the powerhouse of certainty, my friend. It means it is mine. Absolutely. I claim it. I own it. I claim it for myself. Think of what you want right now. Take a second. Get something in your mind that you might be thinking and working on. You got it? Okay. Now repeat after me. Claimed. Say it out loud. Claimed. I claim it. You can feel that power. You can feel that excitement. When you claim something, you simply have it. You are it. It is you. It is the ultimate I am statement. You know, you don't have to wonder, ponder, focus on the wanting then rather than having it right now. This is more than an affirmation. Once you think anything for a fraction of a second, it's actually been created. The problem is too many people are thinking exactly what they do not want, and that's exactly what they get. More of that. So therefore they are right. What does this one powerhouse word mean for affirmations and how do you use it for the power of manifestation? So imagine going out and looking at that perfect home and telling yourself, I claim it, claimed. Picture yourself living there, see it, feel the comfort, imagine the details, the layout, the decor, the warmth, whether this is a car you want or maybe it's not a material possession, but it's your health. This process aligns your subconscious with your desires making them part of your reality, folks. Tell your subconscious mind you already have claimed it as your own. Then let your subconscious mind give it a chance to go to work with this conviction in tow. This is so important. How often should you repeat this? Well, you can say this to yourself as often as you can or try out any other manifesting technique. There's a bunch on my playlist that walks you through step by step. But to keep it simple, you're thinking and saying this as many times a day as you can or want to, to add to one of the other powerful techniques to actually speed it up. But that's not all. Hold on for a couple more minutes so I can give you the last couple quick steps. This won't be too long. You can add this to the beginning or end of any other powerful affirmation you're doing in writing, in visualization, in meditation, in scripting, in whatever is your favorite way to do this. But you can also use it with these three other bonus words. I own it. Claimed. It is mine. Claimed. I have it. Claimed. 
This just isn't wishful thinking, folks. This is how the universe works. Your thoughts create your reality, bad or good. Okay, let's give a couple examples before we get to the last third part of this. Let's say you want to overcome a health issue, okay? You can say, I claim my healthy body. It's mine. Claimed. You can also say, I claim it. I claim my own health. I claim perfect health. Healing is mine. Claimed. Visualize yourself feeling energetic, pain-free, and at your healthiest. Some might think it's too easy, but remember, we're dealing with universal laws, folks. Whatever you consistently think about and speak on, you create. Are your thoughts positive or negative? Are you claiming what you want or are you attracting what you don't over and over and over again? Because that's what your focus is on. Fear, I'm not getting what I want. It's not going fast enough. That's not going to get you anywhere in manifesting. Say it. I claim my dream home. I claim abundance. I claim my healthy body. I claim my right relationship. Claim it, believe it, and watch your life transform. But wait, there's one more. You've got the phrases, but there's that last very important crucial step. Action. You have to take steps toward your goals. God in the universe doesn't work for you when you only do wishful thinking. You must take some action steps to also show that you're doing your part in claiming that which is already yours. But what are action steps really? Let me clarify this quick. If your dream is to live in a beautiful home, then start visiting the neighborhood, visiting open houses, or even starting a savings plan. If you want to succeed in a new career, side hustle, find out what other successful people are doing and start acquiring the necessary skills and just get to work. Just start. Start before you're ready is the way the world works. You learn along the way and the universe rewards you by responding to your actions just as much as your thoughts, whichever way you want to think, positive or neg negative, it's up to you. You'll get whatever you're thinking about and you practice it until you have it deep, deep down. Thinking about your career on a walk, claimed, it's mine, absolutely. No one needs to hear you. This is for you and your subconscious mind. Smile and keep going, knowing that you're aligning yourself with your highest desires, the ones that are going to make you the happiest. So everyone, I've shown you from my favorite, simple, yet powerful way to manifest anything you desire. Remember, clarity first, claim it, and take action third to make it happen. What's the next step? Also, I'm going to talk to you folks about if you're depressed and you're giving up on manifesting, and you don't know what you're going to do, please turn on that notif notification bell because I have a talk coming for you. The only thing I'm asking for you to do now is watch the next video if you like this one or go back and look at my playlist. And I'd love it if you'd be a subscriber so you don't miss a thing, but that's up to you. For right now, go claim your future self and watch for the next claimed video. And happy manifesting, everybody. I can't wait to hear from you and how you're doing. If you like this video, you might like this one or this one or that or that. 